Zen style is a flat picture profile that you can set in your Canon DSLR cameras to make it easier to color grade your footage. So Cine style basically is a very flat picture profiles, very low in contrast. So then when you do enter it into a color grading software, you get the most dynamic range out of it. Now you can go to technicolor.com and download it right here. Download Cine style. If you can't be bothered with it or you don't own a Canon, you can actually try these settings as well in your picture profile. But if you do download it, it actually tells you on how to install it to your camera. Simply you get an EOS utility, you double click it, connect your camera, and then it transfer it across to your camera automatically. If done properly, you just hit the menu, go into your picture style, and you'll see it right here, cine style and you're good to go. So here we are in Corel Video Studio and you can see my video has already been imported and you can clearly see that this picture looks really flat, nothing pops out. Now, the very first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna to go to the FX New Blue Essentials. I'm gonna grab Region Scope. I'm gonna drop it on that, click it, and I'm gonna open Region Scopes. And the reason why I'm using Region Scopes from the FX filter and not from the Color tab is because the Region Scope offers me something that the color tab does not and that is the RGB parade. I'm just going to move that square over here so the RGB parade drops to the bottom. So basically your red, greens and blues, as you can see I have more reds than I have. So the red is pushing more towards the highlights and the blue is pushing more towards the shadows. And we're going to use this to color correct. Now I'm going to press OK. Now I'm going to double click and go to the color tab. So let's go to the color tab and I'm gonna go straight to the tone curves. So what we need to do is we need to keep this little line, this represents all your colors, and this line here it represents your skin tones. We wanna keep this onto that line as close as possible. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab the shadows and push the shadows up a bit. So just ever so slightly. So here's the highlights. I'm gonna push the highlights slightly across. Now, what I'm actually looking at, as I'm pushing the highlights and the shadows, the highlights is the top part, so I don't want it to go over 100, and I do not want it to go below zero. It's called clipping, and once you go past it, you lose information. So as I'm pushing either the shadows, I'm watching that it doesn't hit below. So I can still push these shadows probably a little bit more, probably like that. Obviously, you don't want to crush it all the way down, and the same here. Like I'm very, well, I'm here already touching. If I go back to the vector color, I'm still very close on that skin tone line. So, if I drag this now and do a before and after, before, after, you can see already I made a huge difference. You do not need to do much here because all you're doing is color correction. You're not grading it. And using LUTs, that's when you start creating the style you want, like a matrix look or anything like that. So I reckon we can still probably pay, push that a little bit more. Now, I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna go to the color tab once again. And just for the demo of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you, in case you weren't aware of this, go to the uh, hue, saturation, and lightness and then use this little dragger here. So all you need to do is click on it like that. If it's blue, it's highlighted. And I can then take it to the skin, and if I wanna add or subtract you, I can. So see how I'm going red or green? And that's the cool part about it. Now, obviously what I can do then is, if the red is dominant and I want more green or blue, I can just push that up. And you can see now that the green is starting to move up more. But then again, it changes the look, so that's the look what you're after. I can also go into, say, the saturation, and then do the same thing. If I move it all the way across, like so. So and I think if I, I want to look like I've got more of a tan, I think. So that starts to look more natural. So this is all I'm going to do as far as color correction goes. Again, let's have a do, I do here. Now let's have a look at the before and after. So that's the before and that's after. And that's a huge difference. Now I'm going to remove the RGB parade because I no longer need that because I'm quite happy with what I've done. Filter delete, uh, filter region scopes. Now there's two ways we can add LUTs. Let's do the most simplistic way. Double click, color, 
LUTs. Okay, so also you can get LUTs from the internet and there's quite a lot of LUTs that's free on the internet. So if um, you can go through the look, I'm just going to apply by random a couple just to see what it looks like. So first thing, I'm going to bring the intensity right back up to 100. And let's look at something like, you know, Blue Horror. Okay, so let's say that's what you want, but it's just too strong. So then you drop the intensity just ever so slightly. And that's looking pretty decent. I kind of like that look and that's that's fine with me. So that's method one, how you can add a LUT. And I'm going to show you another way you can add a LUT that you most probably didn't were aware of it or you didn't even think it was a LUT. So let's uncheck this and let's move over to the next one. Let's go back to the FX filters. And what I'm after now is the, I think it's in the stylizer or in the elements. Well, then it must be in the filters. <laughs> Color fast. And whether you got uh, the new upgrade that I've just recently put in or the original Color fast, it doesn't matter. Let's go. I'll do the Color fast from the original so everybody knows like, oh, yes, I can relate. Let's also open that one up. Filter. Color fast. Now, they come with presets, but actually these presets are LUTs. The difference is you can adjust the LUTs inside Color fast. So we can do something very simple like make it pop. And there you go. It just did the same thing as the other LUT did. And obviously here I can then change the threshold or whatever I want and to turn it down a little bit. So again, you have more options. You may not even be aware of the fact that these are LUTs, but you can then also micro adjust them. And there you go. It's relatively simple to use synth style. Or if you've got, I think, Nikon uses log or C log, you can do some really cool color grading inside Corel Video Studio. And as always, I'm rambling. <laughs> and thanks for watching.